Woodchop attracts the toughest men from across the country. With axes flying at over 150 kilometres an hour, striking tree trunks with over two tonnes of force, literally inches from their toes. Not just brawn, but brains are required as well. With axes so sharp, they can shave a man's arm. I'm catching up with woodchopper Brad Deloza and Jack and Jill team Amanda and Dale Beams to find out what it takes to be Sydney Royal Show champions. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. How you doing? Good. How are things? Hey, good to see you. Still got your fingers, toes? Yep. Last count, they were all there, so, so far so good. Oh, lovely. Very now, good. defending champion of the Sydney Royal Easter Show, how's the training been going? Yeah, been good. Yeah, really starting to ramp it up now with only, you know, about a month out, so yeah, really starting to get into it. What events are you competing at at the show this year? Um, I'll be competing in two world titles. That'll be the 15-inch standing block championship and the 15-inch underhand championship. Because it is classed as the Wimbledon and the wood chopping, it's the biggest show to win. All right, let's set a few up and get into it. So, Brad, what is standing block? Yeah, so standing block is where the log is clamped into the cradle vertically, like this. You draw the lines up, you cut halfway through the log from the front side, then you run around and cut the other half from the back and finish the log off. So them three drive hits, them last three hits, are the big hits that go up. So you put them in and they travel up through the up through the timber here and before you turn onto the second sure. side. Alright, let's turn. How many did the driving one? Boom. Nice work. Thanks, bud. This is underhand. Yeah, this is the underhand Gary, so it's pretty much exactly the same as a standing block, except the log's in the horizontal position. So Brad, let's just check this before you start. Yep. You're going to swing the axe. You're aiming for the two green lines either side of the log. Over two tonnes of pressure, 150 kilometres an hour, a razor-sharp axe, two inches from a pair of Dunlop volleys. That's right. Dunlop volleys are the, uh, the shoe of choice for most woodchoppers. Any close calls? Um, not so far. I've been pretty lucky. I haven't had too many close calls, but... Um, you do see the odd uh, toe here and there get cut off in the in the chopping ring. All right, well, let's get started. Right out. Power hit to finish. Look at that. Now, same size log, Brad. As the standing block, how long does it take to get through a log in underhand? Yeah, traditionally it's a little bit faster than standing block. Sort of 35 to, to 40 second mark, I'd say. From an outsider looking in, people would just think there's an axe, there's a bit of timber. The bigger, the stronger, the more muscly you are, just sheer brute force would cut through the log quicker. That's not the case? No, not really, you know, like strength and um, endurance has certainly got a little bit to do with it, but it's not like golf, it's, um, you don't have to be the biggest, strongest guy to hit the golf ball long way, you know, it's all about your timing, technique and your um, natural ability and coordination. So, if wood chopping's like golf, what's Jack and Jill soaring like? Let's get the answer from fellow wood chopping champs, Amanda and Dale Beams. So, Amanda and Dale, what's Jack and Jill? Well, Jack and Jill, it's, it, um, it's done with a crosscut saw and used to be always uh, two blokes sawing together. Then the girls started competing, so the girls come in, so they call it Jack and Jill. It's a sport that you've got to have strength, you've got to have some stamina, and it's a lot of skill. So Amanda, what inspired you to start wood chopping? At Adelaide Show one year, I seen the girls competing with the guys in the Jack and Jill event. And after the show had finished, Dale said, oh, when we get back home, do you want to have a go? And, oh. Yeah, I, I couldn't wait. I thought, yeah, great. So when we went back home, we started training, and 27 years we've been soaring ever since. So, so this is a cross-cut saw. Yep, this is an M-tooth cross-cut saw. And how sharp is it? Those points are needle sharp. So when you're in competition, how long will it take you to saw through a log? Oh, you'll saw a, um, a 375 or a 15-inch log in Sydney in about 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Yeah. Wow. Is it 
technique or just brute force that gets through the log? No, you've got to have technique. The saw cuts both ways. If you're an experienced combination, you will you will push it and you will pull it at the same time with your partner. Right, we'll just nice easy start. We'll just feed it back like that. Keeping the saw flat running as we're going the whole way. Full length all the way. And as we go down the log, we actually go down with the saw. Take our body weight down. So the saw actually stays at about shy to the shoulder to boot height. And comes off. 11.2 seconds. Uh, a little bit quicker slower than that. <laughs> That's every question about wood chopping answered. Apart from how much wood would a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? Brad reckons he can help me with that one. So, you look like a pretty big bloke, Gary. How about you have a crack at the under end? What do you think? Well, I'm not really dressed for it, but I can be. You ready? Ready. Let's get into it. Axman, stand to your log. One, two, three. How you going, Gary? Give me yeah. a yell when you're done. What? 